Hi, Tubies. Um, well, uneventful day. Um, I did uh, manage to get an application or two turned in. Still have no job. Um, I realize tomorrow is going to be the um, blessing moon, so that's one that's one thing, wonderful thing to look forward to. Um, not much on my end here. Um, I am going to be acquiring a small chihuahua puppy, apparently. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to name it. I'm thinking it's a boy, so I'm kind of thinking Gwydion. Um, and he is a Celtic god, a Welsh, I believe, of magic and prophecy. Uh, who seems to interest me so far, right now. <laughs> um, really, I, oh, I, uh, I did go into town yesterday, and I was not able to find those clear labels. Um, they did have them, but they weren't big enough, one, and two, they were like $30 a pack, and so I was like, hell no. And, uh, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Um, I still plan on making my own candles, though, I love doing that. Um, otherwise, it's about in my end. Um, I'm also looking forward to, um, I, I, I bought a book yesterday on, uh, using saints, and I was a little bit concerned with it, because as I was buying it, I, I knew it was a, a Catholic, a Christian thing, uh, but when, as I began to read it, um, the, uh, it was a dedicated book, and it was dedicated to Scott Cunningham, which I found to be quite, uh, inspirational, so I said, well, I need to give that a chance, so I'll be doing that, um, I'll be learning more about the saints, just to get an idea of, you know, of uh, how the, the voodoo, for example, see it, how the brujas and santeria do it, um, just to get an idea, just a learning perspective. Um, that's really about it. Um, I do have one problem I want to ask. Um, I have some sweet grass, and I love the smell of sweet grass. The problem is, it's just, it doesn't stay lit. Um, I cut off the sprig and it doesn't stay lit, it just goes out. It stops smoking, it doesn't have snow, I, I can't get it to stay. I don't know if anybody can help me that. I have them in like little stick forms, you know, to wasp. I can wave them. Because uh, they come braided, you know, and I cut off a little chunk, you know, about EA big, and just am able to smudge with it. And I thought, I wanted to do that because it would smell better than sage, but oh well. If anybody has any ideas of why that won't stay lit, please tell me. Uh, Otherwise, it's about. Oh, I got one more thing, and I took this idea from the uh, the bruja that we've been been seeing. Uh, as she was doing her cleansing, I noticed that she has a sort of an orisha thing. I don't know if anybody knows anything about santeria or brujeria. They have orisha, and it's like a little beaded chain, and it's supposed to represent uh, the deities used. Uh, at least I think it was. I think it was the seven power ones. But they had some shells on the end, and she uses it in her cleansing. She'll sit there and she'll rub you with it like that. And I like that idea. I mean, it was a wonderful idea for cleansing. So, I bought a necklace and I haven't, I can't show it to you right now because I kind of have it preoccupied. Um, and so when I do a clearing or a cleansing, or I need to escape the hex or curse, or to just to get closer to the aspects of water, I may wear that. And uh, I, I really like it. I kind of, I have it hanging on the doorknob for some reason on my altar room. Because uh, I, I haven't, I don't take things into my altar room without first ridding it of all negativity, because I bought it in a department store, you have no idea who touched it. Um, I don't even know if it's real, quite honestly. I, I really hope they are real shells. I can get real shells, but... Anyway. Well, um... I did acquire, I don't know if you can see back here, well, over here, on my shoulder, pointing at it. This little stick figure on my bed here is actually a, a peace pipe that I have uh, inherited. And I'm going to be designing that, redesigning and put Native American style on it, because I am a native. I like to have uh, Native American things, and I will hope soon to be having a Native American figure on my altar for the goddess aspect. Right now I have the Holy Death, and she's done many wonders for me, but I don't... The camera's falling, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> but I don't see her as the goddess aspect for me as much totally as I do... I just think of her as the crone aspect. Anyway... Uh, this is just a bit of a rant today, a bit of an update, see how things are going, uh, with me, and, um, that's about it, really. Um, 
So yeah, um, I hope to get back to y'all later. I'll make some new videos once I get the opportunity to be able to stop and just figure out something I'm going to be able to do because I don't have a tripod and I can't show like um, as much as I would like, like casting circles. It's kind of difficult for me to show and hold the camera at the same time. Um, and since I don't have a tripod, I can't, you know, stay put. So I need a cameraman, basically, um, and an open area to do this. Um, I may be doing a video later. Um, I don't, I'm not sure. Don't quote me, but I, I will be doing a later a video later on um, different forms of cleansing. And um, I'm gonna go through some basic to some very um, complex uh, forms of clean cleansings. And, and there's a story to follow that. So um, anyway, I uh, hope everybody had a wonderful day, a uh, wonderful Saturday. And I hope everybody enjoys the wonderful uh, blessing moon tomorrow. Um, full moon. And, uh, blessed be everyone. Bye. Ah, the camera's falling.